It's good in pasta, like the. I mean, it is a pasta. Yeah, so. but is it Italian? No, right? Yes, lah. Hello, it's pasta dinero. <laughs> <laughs> Later, we're gonna cancel. Oi. No. <gasps> Two hours later. I cannot decide between pizza and pasta. Oh my god, I'm so basic. I should have said something more cultured like gnocchi. I think one pasta dish that I like but it's very difficult to make, right? Is angel hair pasta. Eee, you might as well eat bihun. <laughs> I hate angel hair. It's like too it. skinny. Oh, I don't mind it. Yeah, you like it thick. <laughs> I love pasta and I don't know if it's like authentic Italian but I love hey wait, what's it called? Uh? Alfredo. The pink sauce is like tomato cream. Okay. It's like best of both worlds, you know. Tomato cream? Yes, yeah, so it's like a bit of both. Because if it's just cream, it's too jalak. And then if it's just tomato, it's a bit too tangy. Oh. Do you know a place that sells cheap Italian food? Of course! One, two, three. <laughs> Saizeria! <laughs> Gross! <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like Saizeria. It's always this camp, right? You're either you love Saizeria or you hate Saizeria. Yeah. To me, um, I'm more, of course, more towards love, but ever since they discontinued my mushroom spinach cream sauce pasta, um, I have broken up with them. Uh, I have never gone back. <gasps> They're now an ex. So, you know, shout out to them. This is but, Yeah, but right, the people who are on the hate camp, right, those snooty people who are like, oh my god, I hate Sazuria. It's just microwave food. You never microwave food in your life before, man. You cannot eat microwave food, man. <laughs> No, I thought you were going to list all their branches. <laughs> <laughs> so, in today's episode of We Tried Everything, both of you will be trying everything from Saizeria. Wow! <laughs> Carbo explosion. I'm Let's so go. excited. I love We have picked out four top tier and four bottom tier dishes and tried all the foods available. Complete tier list of all foods will be provided at the end of the video. I haven't even eaten it, but I already know the chicken strips are gonna be A or even S for me. I love it. I don't care that it's like kids' frozen microwave food. It's just such a foolproof, mm. delicious thing. And the batter is like flavorful. You're supposed to be crispy. So my go-to order is the Milano gratin, whatever it's called. Mm. And then this chicken strip. And what I'll do is like I'll mop up the cream and tomato sauce and it's like a delicious. Okay, I would imagine that the chicken strip would taste really good when it's like just freshly out of the air fryer or the oven. Based on the flavour, I need to blast 100% crispiness. So I think for that, I will give it like a B. I think it should be not bad. It's A for me, still not S level. And oh, shall... pepperoni! Is it pepperoni? I think it's pepperoni. Ah, my favourite! Doesn't it look picture perfect? It looks oh like God. the emoji. Yeah, it... it looks like the club penguin. I didn't play club penguin when I was young. Oh, this is like my favourite. Oh really? Okay, I never order pizzas at restaurants. I only order it to like delivery. And then the first time I ordered this, it changed my life for the better. Oh wow. And I love to tap out food and then keep it as leftovers. This, uh -huh. It tastes the same like whether you eat it fresh or like four days later, <laughs> just say. Okay, let's try. Wow, it smells great eh. Wow, it just smells like processed food eh. But this one is so sad. You see the bottom got me. It's just like ripping and tearing in various directions. Why the pepperoni that crispy? Mmm. It smells like the barbecue flavored shapes biscuit. I love it. Pepperoni pizza, honestly, I have a bit of a bias. I like pepperoni pizza in general. Mmm. Yeah. Doing the happy dance. Oh, I'm so glad we saved this for last. Not the best pepperoni pizza I've had for sure, but guilty pleasure. I think I will give this okay. maybe a B. Because I'm a little bit biased. I'm gonna give it an A, even though I love it a lot, but I feel like S is reserved for like the creme de la creme. Mm. Hey! Yay! For Kasha! For Kasha, when they brought this out, it's like, okay, this is purely through my memory. This is my favorite thing to eat at Saizeria. Oh yeah. my god, the smell! Focaccia. Wow! It's, it's really, the it, Wow, you cannot go wrong with this, eh? Oh my god, the, the oil is staining the Whoa! Taste. The bread is not very nice, really, but. What I remember from my deep dark uh, memory palace is that the best thing to eat there is the garlic focaccia. Okay. Have you tried this? So, Apparently it's called Italian focaccia. But do you think it looks like the, the pasta just now? Oh. oh yeah, the pasta also. No, so I think that this one the flavour might be a bit too intense for me. Yeah, because I like this as a level side. So Okay, yeah. I'll try this one because I've not had it before. So my garlic focaccia. Mm. 
garlic focaccia, right? The best, right, is when they bring it out, right? The plate haven't touched the table, you take and you put inside your mouth. What the hell? <laughs> gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh, I tell you what, it's amazing. Then somehow it's like hot, right? Then the side is like still crispy, but the middle is doughy and then it's like got the garlic butter the in the middle, right? <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. Mm. I love garlic and I love garlic butter. Mm. So. Garlic A. Look at this. I am eating a second round because I actually really like their garlic focaccia. Mm. Okay, I'll put that. So you just start over? Gratin! I, I say wrongly for every single time. This is my favorite, the Milano. Fake fan. Gratin. 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 No, because I always say this one. I point at the menu. Oh, you just said this one. Yeah. Oh my god, this looks good AF! Wow! And look at the cube of carrot. I love how she's so enthusiastic after like 57 dishes. Oh, yum! Look at how many different like sections. So it's like orangey, red, white, and then got the melted cheese, and then got some with more onion and carrot. Mmm. Not bad. Mmm. Oh, mm. I love it. Not bad. Now imagine the chicken strips wiping out the sauce that you eat. Not bad. I might actually give this an A. This is your ass, right? Your ASS. Maybe? I think it's your ass lah. I think actually it's not bad. Um, The pasta is kind of mushy, but the sauce is not bad. I'll give it an A. S. To be very honest, I'm not a really big fan of this sauce. What? The only kind of rice I like is Japanese rice. You don't even like Chinese rice? I don't like Chinese rice. What about Thai rice? I also what about don't Indian like. rice? I also don't like. Oh my god, you're a fake Asian! Yeah, I only like the colonizer rice. So sad. No, you say you like Japanese. Oh, never mind. <laughs> This one is a tomato based one. Okay, I think a tomato based risotto will be a bit more less gelatin. But when you order like takeaway or delivery, the rice will just absorb all the sauce. Isn't that the whole point of risotto? Oh my god, actually it's funny because their rice is literally like white rice. It's mm. not like the arborio. So it's so funny, it's like imagine your is? your mom cook rice and then you go and pour ketchup on it until it's soaked up. Gok. Go call you lakko. Seafood. Lakko, you want arborio rice, makao song. Oh yeah, it tastes like ketchup rice. Sorry, I find the texture very off-putting. It's like pudding. Yeah. Uh, I'm so sorry, I think this might be my first F. Not porridge, but not rice. But at the same time, the taste of the tomato is very kindergarten tomato sauce. <laughs> You know what I mean? The kindergarten, yes. the very basic. It's the most sauce. basic of the basic. I cannot with the There's texture. no layers. Okay, for me, it's I'll give it an E because I, I think that if it were fresh, it would not be as gross. Oh. Wow, the broccoli smell. It's like a it's like a side. Like, oh. you know how it smells like? It smells super Chinese. It's like a zisha dish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit. The broccoli smells very, very strong. I'm going to try the mussel. We've not had their mussels all day. Okay, I dip in the tomato sauce. So I must say the tomato sauce like still got herb herb oil, so that's not so bad. It's like a dry and lala. Oh, it's really salty. Mm. The sauce is super duper thin. Mm, it's yeah. like water. I'm trying to taste where it's the tomato flavor. It's okay. flavored water. How much is this? Okay, I'm uh, not okay, bad, not bad. Like, if you're craving mussels and you only have like $5 in your pocket. <laughs> mm, yeah, I guess. Okay, it's like a F. The, I mean, the, the soup is just um, flavorless. E for me. I think people will order this to pair with like white rice or the focaccia mm. if they want to like moisten it. Because mm. otherwise, it's like food. All of this. Oh no! What's that? What? Or is the all tap tap? I've never ordered this before. Me because too. I feel very self-conscious after I eat it, then my teeth are black. You should order this on the first date. If the guy still like you after your teeth black black, he's the one. Then at the end of the date, he also have black mouth and other things. <laughs> it smells like when you cook spaghetti and then you take it out to test the doneness and then it's just pure carbohydrate smell. This is that. Eh? Oh my god, it's completely flavorless. Yeah. I'm just trying to find a flavor because I never had squid in pasta before, so I don't know what is the flavor. There is a very faint flavor actually. Oh really? I don't taste anything. No, as in like in other squid inks. Oh, okay. Oh my god, this is sad eh. Okay, I'll give it an E because okay, okay. F I'll reserve for those that taste bad. This yeah. one has just no taste. Yeah, same. Oh my god, it's a big bucket of spinach. <laughs> this is how Popeye gets his powers. <laughs> Straight up, I think they just put the to... spinach in the microwave and then they on it and then they walk away. <laughs> It is the very moist. Is like, bleh, bleh. It's hella wet. Yeah, I don't like spinach when they it's... squish it together. Like they're trying to extract the water. It should be like spread out and unfurled. This one is like, because it's so squished together, when you bite down the zap will like, Please don't do that! I like raw spinach very much. Same. 
To me, this is an F. I mean, it's edible la, but it's kind of salty. I'm gonna give it an E. I feel like if you just gave me a big bowl of raw spinach, I'd be happier. <laughs> I love my top three. Like I have so many that I love, I I would make it a top five. Oh my! Really? Okay. Yes. After my favorite dish got discontinued, I would say that the only thing that I truly like from Caesarea is the garlic focaccia. But you discovered some new loves today. Ah uh, yeah, like the gratin. The, yes. Yeah, that one was not bad. So now you have a reason to go there. No, not really. I don't <gasps> think so. Okay. I am Tiong Sim one, okay. Tiong but it's never Sim coming one. back. It's like if your ex died. Oh dear. I I, I did wish he died. For me, I always order the same few things which I love. Then the rest is like, uh, yeah. So that works for me. Actually, a lot of the stuff that they have, right, is like sharing platter. Like true, the true. like the giant squid. Are you gonna eat the giant squid by yourself? <laughs> Just like use your hand and like. Argh. Yeah, garlic focaccia. Um, for me, I knew that the ones that I already like are gonna taste around the same. Mm. But I never knew that the cheese hamburg was like a hidden gem. First of all, I didn't even know there was a cheese hamburg. I know that there's a hamburg. But every time I see that page, I'm just like, ew, okay, move on. Because the flavorless potato wedges like really offend me. Like it makes me angry. Okay. So I just avoid that page, like the plate. But now I know I can order something new to, you know, add some variety in my life. Garlic focaccia! Like, what's that? Even like, yeah, yeah, that yeah. I didn't enjoy like the lamb. Mm. I hate lamb, but that shit is like value for money. Yeah. It's such a thick slab. Yeah. Honestly, although I rated most of them quite low, right? I think because I, I compared it based on maybe other places where I've had the same thing mm. or like my memory of these kind of dishes. But to be honest, the price point and whatever you're getting is not too bad. Someone, mm. when you get like, for example, your hamburg steak, right? It's like, you get wedges and you get corn with it. And it's piping hot. And it's $10. And there's cheese. Yeah, so actually it's not bad. Different folks, different strokes, but yeah, not bad. Especially for the price point. So, I mean, I don't think Saizeria, you really go there for like gourmet food. Mm. But especially in town, places with like expensive food, it's a good deal. It's such a great hangout spot because you can just like keep getting drinks mm. and then like you, you're very full then you go and shishi and then you come back and have more chats. Yeah, I love it. I love Saizeria so much. It's like a near and dear establishment to me. Mm. I don't know why I had to add the shishi inside, but okay. Because your bladder will be full. I'm That's why my bar, favorite right? Saizeria outlets are the ones where the toilet is right next to it. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of We Tried Everything. If you like this video, you can check out more over there. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye. Bye. I, I need to go and fart. I am so sorry. I am truly going to You're stand You're gassy. I'm going to stand. You know how much cups I had or not? I'm going to stand in the corner.